What's, What's up, up Exotics, Exotics fam? fam? Welcome, Welcome to, to our channel. channel. My, oh. My name is Jeff. <laughs> My name is Maddox. Are you eating? No. <laughs> what are you eating? A cookie. You see how unprofessional we are over here? We just start Phil, but he's got a cookie in his mouth. He said his name was Jeff, I'm pretty sure. I did. Yeah. Wow. Gosh. <laughs> That's how long it has been since we have uploaded a video for you. Welcome back. Or if you're here for the first time, we appreciate you coming in. This is Exotic Idiotics, and today we are going to talk about our brand new breeding project. Well, it's not that new. A breeding project we haven't made a video on because we haven't made a video in a very long time. So stick around and, and let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. At the end of the video, I'm gonna have a water bottle just like hanging out of the Before we get into talking about our new breeding project and introducing all of the breeders to you guys, I want to give a quick shout out to the Animals at Home podcast. We were actually on this podcast several months ago and Maddox talked about it on the episode that he had a breeding project that he was working on and told a little backstory behind it. And we were supposed to make a video like two days after that and things just kind of got out of control. We've been moving really, really quickly here. We've got a lot of exciting stuff going on, but I wanted to give a quick shout out to that podcast. I'm going to link that video of us on the podcast right here. Make sure to go check it out, show them some love. So this is Ronan, he is our breeding male. And we chose him because he's got this super dark, almost black base with the super high cream colors, which is a really good contrast. And we would love if he would pass that down. He handles the best, he's got a great personality. He's pretty calm, not like basically any of the other ones. All right, so this is Widow. This is one of our breeder females. Um, she is also a dark base, extreme Harlequin. She's got high cream, but she's also got a lot of oranges on her. Um, and she's not quite as dark as Ronin is. She's definitely more of like a grayish brown base, but she's got really good head structure. And um, she has already started laying for us. And uh, we've got a couple eggs of hers incubating right now but she's still brand brand new. This is her first season breeding and we're still early in the season. So she's only given us two eggs so far, but yeah, this is Widow. This is Phoenix. She is our creamsicle Dalmatian. She's still a little small to breed, but we're planning on using her later this season. And she's got this super light base with the Dalmatian spots, which will go really well with the dark base and the high creams from Ronin. All right, this is May. She's a little, uh, she's a little crazy. Um, we actually don't have a whole lot of backstory on this one. This one was one we kind of rescued on Craigslist. Somebody just kind of needed to get her a new home. Um, as you can see, she has a little frog butt. If you are not experiencing crested geckos, they can drop their tails and they do not grow them back. It does not hurt them in any way. Um, so it is really common when you are seeing crested geckos to see them, especially as adults with their tails off. They can sometimes fall off during breeding. They can sometimes fall off in something as simple as a thunderstorm and it just scares them that bad. Um, so one of the things I really, really liked about her was that she's got these crazy like honey colored eyes. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. Um, and I don't know if that's something that uh, she could pass along to her offspring or not. So we're gonna breed her. We're just gonna kind of see what happens. I do like that she has a little bit lighter of a base and it should give us a, some good variation in uh, the eggs that hatch. Okay, this is Scarlet. She is a red lily white, and I know it doesn't look like it right now, but when she fires up, her sides are like bright cherry colored red. And she has, she's the mother of every baby we've hatched so far. And if you wanna see a video on all about our babies, make sure to comment and leave a like all right, this is Torch. So we showed you guys all of the crested geckos that we are using in our breeding project, but we made a whole video when we first brought this one home about setting it up and everything. I'm actually gonna link that video above right now. Um, so I figured while we were talking about all the geckos, I might as well give a little update. You can see uh, 
he is very fired up. Also, again, I personally think this one's gonna end up being a female, but super dark base. Got some decent little orange patterning coming on, but this is this is kind of an example of what you will typically find if you go and buy a Crested Gecko at a place like PetSmart or Petco. Um, usually breeders, when they see something like this hatch out, they don't see that it's anything necessarily special for breeding that doesn't have any real um, crazy markings or discerning characteristics that you would want to use in a breeding program if you're trying to breed some like investment to quality geckos. So this is kind of going to be what I guess you would consider almost like a normal crested gecko or something that you're commonly going to see in your pet stores. But you can see how much size um, he's put on. Really good eater, really good handler. And uh, this is the one that started it all. This is, uh, we, we both, I think, can agree Maddox and I kind of wrote crested geckos off for a long time because we thought they were just like these super basic species that everybody keeps. And uh, yeah, jump they're a little jumpy there. handling, but they, uh, they're they awesome. Uh, we got this first one and we just had such a good time uh, keeping it and we really enjoy handling it. As you can see, they will just jump away at any time. So handling them is more like an activity than, uh, <laughs> than it is to just holding a lizard. But uh, they're a lot of fun. We really, really love having them. And so we wanted to give you guys an update on the very first one that we got. Okay, I wanted to save my personal favorite in the collection for last. This is Blade. This is, he is, well, we bought him as a probable male. I'm not 100% sure on that now as he's getting a little bit bigger and a little bit of size on him. Uh, it may end up being a her, but Blade is a tricolor lily white. We are obviously not breeding this one yet. This one is way too small to breed, but we are growing it out. We saw this one and it was one of those that for the price that I, we paid for it, I kind of couldn't pass it up. And uh, so we are super excited for Blade to grow up and be bred. I actually am kind of, part of me actually kind of hopes it is a female because I would love to take this dark base tricolor lily and breed that to Ronan and see what would come from it um, but if it's a male then you know we've got some good females to pair it up with as well so there you have it those are all the breeding adults for our new project again if you haven't checked out that podcast episode you really should go listen to it and listen to the entire story of how this got started um, how Maddox got the money <laughs> to uh, to start this project um, it's really a pretty, it's a really a pretty cool story. Uh, so I highly recommend that you go check that out. Um, we hope that you enjoyed this. Like Maddox said, uh, if you want to see, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to get as tall as me? <laughs> do you need me to squat down? No, I'm just fidgeting around. Go, go, go gadget legs. I know legs. I'm go, go, short, gadget, okay. go, go gadget legs. I know I'm short. You're a lot taller than you were when we started making videos. I'm so short. <laughs> um, I'm taller than Kevin Hart. <laughs> There you go. That, that's it. There you go. That's something. If you saw it with Kevin Hart, then you're doing all right. Um, <laughs> like Maddox said, if you want to see a video on all the babies that we've hatched out so far, then make sure to give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because we are going to be posting updates on all the babies regularly, as long as you guys want to see that. And um, what you got, man? Besides, you're trying to get taller <laughs> and eating cookies. In the videos. Um, in the description of the video, there will be a link to the Instagram and all the things. <laughs> our Instagram, our Discord. We're going to fight today, man. You're, you're like off your game so hardcore. Yes, our Instagram, our Discord, our website, our merch store, all the things. That's all I got for you today. And we will see, see you, you next time. time.